And on that note, we cue the music. YouTubers, it's me, Gary, and Nick. We are the Mr. Peabody and Sherman of Bill's books today, because there's a Mr. Peabody and Sherman book out today. Uh-huh. All right, let's get to the new book, shall we? Uh, what do we got here? We got a little Superman hardcover, Batman, 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 Bat... Enough. <laughs> Enough, Batman. Take a day off. Uh, Abe Sapien. The dollar reprint. Dollar reprint of Abe Sapien. Adventures of Superman. That Superman looks very boyish. Looks very, uh, what's his name, Smallville. Yeah. All new X-Men with their all new outfits. And then all new, I'm not reading it. Yeah, they're all new, uh, smaller readership. All-Star Western, John Hex. Uh, I love it. I I'm worried about the, the one, have you seen the pictures? where? Oh yeah, they're... where he looks like Clint Eastwood? Yeah. That's pretty good. Hi, Aphrodite 9. How are you? Uh, Howard Shake and Buck Rogers. Buck Rogers is a transvestite in ladies' underwear, underpants. You would think that, but no. Oh, what a shame. What's the point? Cataclysm, Ultimate Comics, X-Men, Joshua Hale, Fialkov. Give it. This Conan looks pretty good. I'm waiting for the trade on that, because I like that guy's art. And looks like something that, except for Conan's got kind of the Mo Howard bowl cut in that, which is... Spread out, you knuckleheads. Hey, he doesn't, you know... <laughs> There's the, no super the cuts, cuts in Samaria. Yeah. FF, sad that this is uh, ending soon. I like that book. I like there's it. There's a lot of stuff ending. I know. In fact, there's a one that's ended this week. Oh, yeah. Five Ghosts was awesome. This, nice. this book is awesome. It is. And special shout out to my friend Dylan Todd, who does some design and layout work for that. Dylan Todd. <coughs> name dropper. Name dropper. Well, if I was going to name drop, I'd name drop the guys that actually created the book. Dylan's just like, you know... Uh huh. Yeah. You want to pick that name up? Yeah. Hold on. Who runs like that? Really, I don't care if you are the fastest man alive. It must. That's because it's zero year. Yeah. Fastest man alive. Argus. Steve Trevor battles Deathstroke. Is it Steve Tre Trevor, the one that uh, Wonder Woman's always trying to save, and he's fighting Deathstroke? Yeah. I don't he know. He better about that. start dialing. Anyway, what else do we have here? Infinity. Is this the yeah, last? That's the part? end. That's the oh end of Infinity. God. So I'm sure it's leading right into like five different other... Oh, they haven't even... Uh, actually, the other miniseries hasn't even started, but there's two Inhumanity crossovers already out. Duh. Hunt and Heist. Yeah, which one of them's not done. One's done yeah, and one's, one's done. not. That's weird. I think you'd think they would both be... Chad's Pick of the Week, Injustice. Yeah, I don't... Yeah? I'm not a gamer, so I don't get into Me it. Me neither. Itty bitty Hellboy, itty bitty Hellboy. Because kids always need stories yeah. about demons and ghosts sure. and golems. Yeah. Mr. Peabody and Sherman. There you go. I wonder which one of us is which. Well, neither one of us have any hair like that. But right. And neither one of us are able to lick ourselves like that. Well, I'm well, fairly flexible. <laughs> well, I guess you're Mr. Peabody, <laughs> yeah. then, aren't you? <laughs> uh, Infinity? Yeah, which I like. The Infinity crossover in New Avengers kind of ruins the end of Infinity. 
Der, make sure you put it under Infinity in your stack. There. Yeah, I know. The, the cover is a spoiler for the end of Infinity. I like the fact that Thanos is twerking on the cover of that book. Good for him. It's important to stay current. Andrew's pick of the week, Nova 100. How about that? Yeah. How is it Nova 100? It's issue 10. It's because it's that magic... We're going to just, even though we oh, cancel Marvel the book. Numbering. Yeah. Marvel numbering, yeah, okay. Uh, Savage Wolverine, Scarlet Spider. Nah. Uh, that one, this one, the last show Bill was at, he picked it up. It's kind of like a, picked it up to a, a young man that was next to him. and Yeah. It's, uh, you know, for a first crack at, at an indie book, self-published stuff, a little bit of that anime feel to it, the comedy and whatnot, it was pretty good. Excellent. You know how we like to support the, uh, the self-published stuff. Sidekick? I like this series. Sure. Nick, you can be my sidekick. Thanks, Gary. Sure. Uh, clone? No, there's another Batman there, though. Uh, enough with the Batman. Lois Lane, a celebration of 75 years. I wonder if they touch on the uh, era in which she was batshit crazy. <laughs> Excellent. I guess that was just the woman that played it. Yeah. yeah. Marvel Masterworks, Ant-Man, Giant-Man. Little big man. Uh, Aquaman. This is the last Jeff Johns. I think dun, so. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Avengers Arena. That's looks the last like, issue of that. Yeah, it looks like everybody on is dead. No wonder it's the last issue. Yeah. Well, that's the easiest way to end an issue. Avengers Assemble. Which, if you notice, Avengers Assemble. Yeah. Look at the top. Inhumanity. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, Applesauce Award of the week goes to the people that actually thought Joe Madrera would get Inhumanity out when he said he would. Yeah. Come no, on. it's not Inhumanity, it's Inhumans. Yeah, well, isn't he supposed to be doing the... Uh, the the Inhuman. Inhuman series. Oh. Inhumanity is another, is like the crossover. Oh, enough with the crossovers, I'm over it. Anyway. Here's another one from Image that a lot of people didn't know was, what didn't think was ever going to make it back out. Bad Dog Issue 5, I think they said they've been waiting, I don't know, six to eight months for that one. Yeah, I started to get it when it first came out and then I was like eh, I'm over it because uh, my pick of the week Criminal Macup The Eyes of Frankenstein I mean how are you not going to pick Cal McDonald and there's like a Doctor Strange meets uh, David Blaine kind of guy in there he's kind of a douche it's pretty awesome Crossed is in a bag I saw the other cover for it the other cover Did for you? it is way better isn't it yeah so if you can find the cover that is not like this it's, I believe it's the torture cover the torture cover yeah for stocking stuffer, cryptozoic man. Lord, and, and notice, um, number two is not flying off the shelves too That's quickly. That's because it's all number two. I don't know. I haven't looked at it, but I don't like that guy. Uh, we had one. I had one customer who asked if she could legitimately get a refund for her time and that she spent reading it. Excellent. That's what you get for sitting around a comic shop talking shit about everybody else. Yeah. Oh wait, that's what I do. Damien, son of Batman, son of Batman. Even the sun's getting Photo in. cover. I had someone go, why is Sandra Bullock on the cover of Danger Girl? I'm oh. like, I'm really sure. Pretty sure that's not Sandra Bullock. Oh, you're a dirty girl, aren't you? Oh. Um, G.I. Joe Special Missions? You need some time alone? Got yeah, a little bit, maybe. Godzilla? A little bit of Godzilla? The Goon? This is about Nick. The Spanish issue. In Espanol. The Green Team. For those of you who like to smoke pot. Yeah, I don't think... Well, Quest probably. number one. Look at that. Good old-fashioned Dungeons & Dragons style fantasy. Good for them. What the hell is this? Oh, Judge Dredd. Uh, the sub cover. The sub, sub cover. cover was a blank. It's a blank. If and you've seen the world's end, it's a blank. Yeah. Justice League Dark. <laughs> Swamp Thing's giving him the old fist. Ouch! <laughs> He's giving fist. him the green fist. Ouch! Stink fist. Larflees, really. Come on. Hey, they we got shorted Teen Titans, so instead of our order of Teen Titans, they sent us more Larfleet. Oh, we barely go through five. That's awesome. Letter 44. Everyone's, more people are picking up on that. Powerpuff Girls. That's Nick's pick of the week. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. Powers, Bureau. He's not getting me. He's not getting me back. That's good. Not getting me. Pretty Deadly, issue two. The controversial and... It's really Somewhat not. coherent to uh, Pretty Deadly. I I read that. I got got to read that one. So it's in a bag. Does that mean there's boobies in it? Yes. Excellent. 
Uh, Nick's actual pick of the week is Rat Queens, because Nick likes rats and queens. That's one of them ones where I don't think enough people are reading that. That's just a fun book. Nick's mad at you for not reading Yeah, it. go pick up Rat Queens. Nick's mad at everybody all the time, so it doesn't really matter. Sledgehammer 44. It keeps me warm. Sure. <laughs> that stoking the furnace <laughs> of hate in your soul. Why, why do you think I don't have any hair? Uh, Sonic Universe, and it's not uh, uh, for... pick. Come on, Carl, get with <laughs> it. How are we supposed to have legitimate picks of the week if you won't pick your book? Star Trek, Star Wars, Super! Look, <laughs> he's actually even doing like the Super! That's pretty awesome. Super! Yeah. So I'm glad to meet you! <laughs> Uh, pretty excited about this. I picked up this, the Joker, Clown Prince of Crime trade paperback. It's his huh. book, his, like his solo book from the 70s or 80s. Yeah, I think it's, the late look, eight, early 80s. Look, it's, and it's featuring pre-hair plug Jeremy Piven on the cover. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Polar. That okay. was really good. I got that. Uh, it started as a silent digital comic. And okay. then he, the uh, creator, wrote us, you know, a little bit of a script for it and put some dialogue in. Really great, uh, like spy. Excellent. And it's book. called "Came from the Cold." <laughs> Usually, I have the opposite problem. Uh, sex first trade paperback. Is that trade paperback? Yes. Obviously bagged yeah. for your protection. Because sex, there's lots of sex and stuff in it. Yeah. Just I don't want you to be surprised. Uh, Shadow Walk from Legendary. I don't know anything about that. Bedlam, awesome. I love Bedlam. Oh, yeah. Ryan ba Brown's been kicking it on the yeah, art. Yeah, right. Bill's pick of the week, Black Science. I read it. I enjoyed it. On Black Friday. Good stuff. Yeah, on Black... Hey, Bleeding Cool. For all the uh, douchebags in the industry. Uh, hey, look, a Frank Avila cover, Dark Shadows. Uh-huh. Only... I think I only won one or two more. Oh, you're such a Frank Avila whore. Ryan's pick of the week, Deadpool Annual. Featuring Madcap. I love Madcap. That was a cool one. It kind of explained why he has two voices in his head. Sure. Doctor Who? Who? What? What? Ferals. I love Ferals. It's werewolves and titties. And, and look, I didn't have to bag that one. Oh. Just extreme violence in there. Oh. Jeremy's pick of the week, Half Past Danger. I love Half Past Danger. It's good stuff. Hey, look at this. She makes the white queen look like <laughs> a boy. Anyway. New Hawkeye. This issue was great. Good stuff. Amy yeah. Wu art. Pretty awesome. Amy Wu. Hoax Hunters. Buy this book. Yeah, that's a great These book. These guys are awesome. Indestructible Hulk. Another Inhumanity, Inhumanity tie-in. Tie oh. Yeah. Killing me. Uh, let's see. Massive. Mass Effect. Max. Mind Management. The Max is... Uh, mind Management, yeah. The Max is a recoloration of the old series. Oh, yeah? I think they're going to do another series. Oh, my God. Morning Glories. Crazier that book gets, the more I can't stop buying it. Yeah. Red lanterns? No green lanterns allowed. Guy Gardner, bleeding from his eyes. He must have got hit by Batman again. Sure. Revival? With an advertisement on the back for happy. Everyone's just happy, happy, happy. Oh, Saga's even in a bag this week. Well, I didn't want to... such a prude. I know, there You're was... all jesus -y here. There was a starfish and... Oh, well. <laughs> I just... <laughs> and what flavor was that starfish? Yeah. Uh, this was my alternate choice for pick of the week. Robert E. Howard's Savage Sword. Have anything to do with that Frank Avila cover? He had the drop-off doing the interiors on that on the one story he was working on, but he still did the cover. Yeah. Look at that cover. Look at it's that. a great Robert E. Howard anthology. And uh, I like it a lot. This is something. This is a. It's the director's cut of Sandman One. Oh, They're going to do that every. You know, he's not a director, right? He's wow. just a writer of the book. He's not. It's not a movie. They're not seasons. They're runs of a comic book. Why? Why you got to take a man down? Why and you got to cut him down? He's why? not the director. Why you got to cut him down? Who wrote the book. If you want to make movies, just make movies. Well, that one. You know, I mean, technically, that's on time. Of course, issue two won't be. Dennis is picking a week. Superman, that's hard to believe. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see what we got here. Look at this. Something else in the bag. Tarot always goes in the bag. Uh, She's uh, anatomically improbable. Pretty much. Auxiliary table, kids. We, we, we got the auxiliary of the auxiliary table out this time around. I know. Thief of Thieves. We love Thief of Thieves. Oh, yeah, that's the good. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think Thunder that's the Agents. end of City Fall. Look, that guy's running the same way. Do people really run with their hands like that? I don't 
think they I don't think they do. Anyway, Tom Strong, another uh, blank cover. Yeah. Why don't people just draw a cover? Well, you got people that want to be movie directors. Because then you got fancy people, people like the Dan Gorman artists, they want something to draw on. Uh, just draw a cover. Uh, Transformers, Uncanny Avengers, apparently there's a big... Uh, there's like three deaths in that book. The Reaper is paying a visit. It's like my uh, Facebook friends list. Like, yeah, but when you're fighting Kang and there's time travel involved... Uh, it doesn't. You know. It's not, it's not going to stick. But seriously, on Facebook, like six of my friends have died since I started my Facebook profile. I'm glad Just be I don't careful. Facebook. Yeah. Uncanny X Force with the homage to the Fall of the Mutants cover, I'm guessing. That's good stuff. Oh, little puck. I love puck. Uh, Walking Dead, All Out War. Yeah, it's all I'm all out. out. Yeah. I'm all out of care. It's all out, give me your money. Yeah. Hello, Deja Thoris. It's got to be. There, it's got. There's like. Yeah, everyone complains about the covers on Cross, but no one ever no seems to say. Yeah, right. I mean, it's just got to be damned uncomfortable fighting Martians dressed like that. You'd think you would get, like, the the most ultimate wedgie of all time. I mean, doesn't the... Uh, In the front, too. I mean, it's got to have, like, glue or something on, right? Doesn't it chafe? Anyway. <laughs> Wolverine and the X-Men. I think that's ending, too. Yes. Well, because Wolverine's got to become a bad guy for a while or something. I don't yeah. Know. Wolverine and the X-Men annual. Why would you have an annual for something that's going to end? Well, it was at least a year, so... Look, auxiliary, auxiliary table. X-Files, photo cover, nice. Zombie War. Nice. Nice. And Fathom. How did Fathom end up put back here? Because someone decided they didn't want it, and uh, Fathom didn't make it to the regular shelf, so then they handed it back. He said, I don't want this. So. Oh. I'm like, well, then take it off your pool, then. Don't get mad. Look, 10-inch Daryl Dixon. Everyone likes a 10-inch Dix, and... Everybody likes 10-inch Dixon. Dixon what? Uh, okay, what else do we have here? Let's look over here. We got uh, Brian's stack of comic books. We got Six Gun, Volume 1, hardcover. That's you a, should be buying that. That's the that's the big one. That's the omnibus. Uh-huh. You better get on the bus. That was terrible. That was horrible. That was terrible. Um, we also have this. I don't, it's called uh, Signal to Noise by Neil Gaiman and Dave McKean, which is pretty good. Nerd shopping. We got, uh, look, we got some new pops, some Assassin's Creed pops. Everyone likes Assassin's Creed, apparently. Sure. Even a little Plague do Doctor. Everyone wants reminded of the dark times in the world. Sure. And then, the most awesome thing we got this week, this gigantic, super fantastic, uh, Swamp Thing reindeer variant figure. Everyone keeps going, when did Swamp Thing have wings? I don't know. Have you read the new book? Nick's mad at you again. See, I told you, he's mad at everybody all the time. I've only had a few sips of coffee. Yeah, so, um, in a little while, we're going to be starting day two of our fantastic Black Friday sale here at Bill's Books annual three-day Lollapalooza. Well, I guess it would make it a Bonnaroo then, instead of a well, Lollapalooza. Anyway, do whatever. in a little while, the actual artist, Dan Gorman, will be sitting right in this seat. There, right Selling there. sketches, sketch cards, uh, everything. Look, he left his stuff, though. Look. Fantastic. So Dan is the guy that did the uh, Walking Dead covers for us, so you know that it's going to be good stuff. Of course, by the time you see this video, he'll be gone. So. Oh, and i got to show you. Oh, Watch. you should have oh, thought of show. this earlier. Oh, I had Dan do something for a customer. Yeah, Dan do something for a customer. I don't know why he's still got the camera on me, because I don't know nothing don't. about it. Look at that. Scott Pilgrim Pony. Scott. I keep telling these guys, ponies are money. Ponies equals money. Mm -hmm. Pony money. Hey, look, there's a card in there, too. Well, that's for the customer himself. Yeah. Anyway, so look at that. Dan yeah. Gorman. And then, Man of course, up front. He's a jack-off all trades. Jack-off. I'm oh, sorry. There was an extra the, F in there. Yeah. But um, we will also be having Daryl Banks. You know how we love Daryl Banks. All right. His setup is not quite as fantastic, but he does have the super. He's, he's front row, though. Yeah, he does have the super friends yeah, yeah, uh, thing on there, so that's pretty good. So uh, until next time, next week I w it'll be previews week. Yeah. So we're pretty excited about that, and I'll be able to show you hopefully the last sketch in my sketchbook. Daryl Banks is supposed to be bringing my sketchbook back to me today. And next weekend is Steel City. And next weekend is Steel City. So yeah. we got all kinds of stuff going on. We will see you next time. Hope everyone had a happy holiday. Happy ha 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 ha. Fa ra 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 ra.